have him explain where we are. This is a very vital point part of our three-legged stool, as we call it. The uh, capital improvement plan is one. And Bob has shown us a lot of information on that. We've also had the reserve study, which is we've just gotten. And now this is number three, a very, very important part. So I've got Steve Cohen. I'll introduce Steve. He's the president of the Comprehensive Committee, and he will introduce Memo Derricka, who is running the speaking study. Steve? I thought there was only one president, chairman. Your chairman. Oh, no, no. Oh, one president. I don't want to get a promotion. <laughs> All right. Take care. Get yeah, promoted. <laughs> uh, my name is Steve Cohen. I live at 98 Ocean Parkway. I'm the chairman of the Comprehensive Planning Committee. Um, we sent out a, a tent pack, a preliminary uh, idea about the survey, the questions. Um, they're not the final questions that are going to go out to the uh, to the, uh, the board and to the uh, association. We plan. We are going to have a committee meeting on Monday. Uh, it's an open meeting to discuss the questions. We uh, hope to have it finalized and sent to the board for the next meeting, the end of February. And we will send, and once that's approved by the board, we will send the questions out on April 18th. And we will uh, hope, uh, plan it to get them back by May and uh, have them published sometime this summer. Okay. And all right, now uh, I'm going to ask Memo to come up if we would and talk to us about how to get them out. We've had a lot of discussion about first class mail and all kinds of things. Memo's had a lot of experience in doing this and let him explain what things we can do, which will not be extremely cost, uh, extremely costly to the association. Memo, go ahead, please. Uh, our, Dr. Recommend Dr. Sorry. <laughs> our recommendation is uh, a bit of uh, each option. What we recommend that uh, those who have access to email can do it via email online survey methodology. Uh, I also recommend that you set up a kiosk at th in this building as well as an administration building for people who are stopping by in that uh, time frame. And anybody who actually wants a paper copy, we will have it mailed to them. To be able to accomplish that, it might be a good idea to send a postcard to everybody explaining to them when the survey is going to take place, what their three options are, and then let uh, you all know which of the three options they want to use. They want to do the online at home, they want to come here and do a kiosk where somebody might be able to answer any questions, or if they want a paper version. That way, everybody is covered. Uh, there's, there are no questions as to does somebody have online or not pay, uh, the postcard reaches everybody. That's our recommendation. However, whatever you as a committee, committee and the board decide, uh, my team is ready, willing, and able to deliver it for there any questions from the Tom? Yeah, Dr. Mayor, my uh, question has to do with the board approving the questions. Yes, sir. Um, it, it's kind of an interesting balancing act at this point because at one point it's like, well, the board then gets to choose what the questions are and therefore they get to drive the answers that they want. Or it's the board uh, should approve the questions because, you know, basically it's a organization-wide statement. So if you could share a little bit of your experience with other organizations as to why is that step taken? Why is that appropriate uh, uh, for a board to, to have control, in essence, of the question? Absolutely. Well, uh, for a moment, let's forget that this is a community association. Imagine that's any other uh, consulting client. Sure. What you're doing is you're collecting information from the community to inform your decisions. In the final analysis, this uh, group of seven people will be making decisions, and to be able to make the best decisions, those decisions need to be informed by as much information as possible. It is not to inform the community, that can be done in other ways, it's not to inform the committee, it's really those seven of you who are going to make the decisions. So you have to give the file of approval saying, hey, you should also ask this or clarify this for me. So it's not telling us what to ask, but telling us what you want the information for, what kind of information. So it would be illogical not to include you all. That since it is for your use, as uh, Mr. Erno said, one of the three-legged uh, stool Thank you for that clarification. Thank you. Jack, do you have any questions? No. No. Go ahead. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll expect Would you, you open the floor again. for association member questions? I'm sorry. Would you open the floor for association member yes. questions? Yes. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, Joe. The, uh, the oh, go to the mic, please. Thanks. Show Reynolds, 84 Border Town Road. Uh, the, I would like to remind the board that on uh, Mr. Memo's initial appearance before this board, perhaps two years ago, he told this board of directors, or the board of directors then, that the questions would have to come from that's not anything. I'm aware of that. I just wanted the people to understand why that process Here, is. Here's my concern about this. I hope the board gives us some serious consideration. If this is going to have value, the results that come back from the association are important. I'm concerned about offering people options to respond. If you give people three options, some of them may take no option. You're asking them to go to an Iowa caucus before they can vote. I believe that if this is as important as this board and previous boards have said it is, that there should be no option and that we should mail this via United States mail on paper all of the questions the board decides to ask to every association member, just as we do with an election ballot. And it should not be a part of any other mail, and it should be an independent mail. With the money we spend around here, my guess is that this would cost us somewhere in the range of $10,000. <laughs> if this is our future, if it is one of three legs on a stool, if it's that important, let's mail it to everybody. That, that, that way, there's no question. You'll get a response. You're not going to get a 100% response. But this idea of offering people options I think is making a major mistake right out of the gate. Thank you. No. Thank you, John. I'd, I'd like to reply to that. I think we lived 20 years ago, I would agree with you, but now we have people, you ever see people around these things right? all the time? They deal by electronics. They don't deal by paper. So if you've got a young, young group up there, which we all say we do have, are they going to respond by paper or are they going to throw it in the trash? I think if you give them an option to answer the questionnaire by email, they might take that option as opposed to taking. How do we know though, which ones might take the email options? They don't get it. In other words, it takes an affirmative statement from somebody. Somebody has to come to the court and say, don't mail me anything. I'm going to go do it via email or I'm going to come in a kiosk. Uh, you don't know what's going on. You've lost control. And in terms of, of people doing things on their phone, I would agree with you. People are doing lots of things on the phone. We don't do elections on the phone. And this is an important item. And I believe that we have an educated community of involved association members. And I think we ought to extend that paper to them and receive back their responses. If it's 20%, 30%. That's my view. But I think you're making a major mistake because I think if you go the other way, there's going to be a lot of doubt about the results that you get back. But if you go, people will be saying, well, we got this segment, then let's be fair about it. Mail it ever. That's my feeling. Anyway. All right. Well, that's a minor expense. The only thing I would say to that would be that if you mailed it using your scenario, are you going to let them have the option of answering on an email? Or are you going to say you have to fill out the paper? I tell them to fill out the paper. Uh, let me ask Mr. Derrick, would, would you like to see a mailing to every association member? Um, as I mentioned earlier, whatever decision is, we are ready, willing, and able to do it. I would still re recommend that even if everybody gets a paper copy, that they would have the option to go to the URL and do it online instead of putting it in the mail. But that's How do we know they wouldn't do it twice? That's, that's easy. Yeah, even code it. I mean, that's what we do. We can give unique URLs on each. Doctor Dare, while well, you're up there, <laughs> why don't you sit down and get up? Uh, I was just curious as to why there is no demographic uh, data associated with it. But by that I mean age, uh, household size, the, you know the kinds of things I'm talking yeah, that, about. Uh, what you have is the 
question categories that came from the work up to this stage. That's not the questionnaire yet. That's going to be on the, in fact, uh, Steve said Monday we're meeting to work on the questionnaire. So when the final question is ready to come to you, they will be there. In the demographics, we tend to ask about five questions, so we'll decide which five questions are going to be. Let's, ta let, let's talk about the, uh, the input that you receive from the recipient. You know, it'd be the questionnaire electronically, hard copy, whatever. Based on your experience, what's the return rate? What's the, uh, what, 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 what percentage do you get back uh, from um, those emails and or uh, mailings? Uh, because you're sending it to everybody, you're going to have a fairly high percentage here. Well, what based we on your experience, haven't you done this in the past? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we can statistically model this response at about a 17% response 17. rate. Uh, we are a lot more comfortable comfortable when you reach the 20%, 22 24% range. But you will get more than that because you're not sending it to a sample of the population. You're sending it to a census of the population. Within that, we also model what we run reliability and validity assessments to say, has any group over-responded and are they taking it one direction or the other? In fact, that's why some of the demographic information comes into play to be able to see if it's matching the uh, characteristics of the universe. Would, would, would that be part of your report and conclusion that out of the 8,400, blah, 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 this number, which represents a percentage of? Correct. Absolutely. So that we know, okay. And, and it will be cross-tabulated. Okay. Just to make sure I'm clear, when you use the phrase or word population, you're referring to the membership, correct? Yeah. Not people who live here. The, 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 I was using population in terms of the population of survey respondents. Um, and those would I be the members. The, the last committee meeting, uh, we will be sent. With, my understanding is we'll be sending the questionnaire to a fairly large list. It was. Uh, it included non-member residents. No, I'm not talking about those Renters. folks. I'm talking Renters, about. Yeah. I don't Somebody know. lives in Columbia, Maryland, but they own property here. They will get the survey. Yeah, right? yes, absolutely. That's all I'm yes. trying to clarify. No, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Okay. Yeah, but the, the word population is that everybody who received the survey, what percentage of them respond? So you will include renters. Correct. But they will be separated in the analysis. They you will hear the analysis. They saying, will be identifiable. Correct. Okay. So renters said this. You know, <laughs> owners said this, etc. How will you? Uh, how do we get the information to the renters? Mail. No, we don't have a list of who's renting what around here. Uh, we will have, I mean, the, the, the questionnaire will have a question as to if they are renter or not. So it's not necessarily that we're going after them. We're just trying to identify them out. The All right, so you, so you'll work out the logistics. Correct. Like this. Correct. I just wanted to make sure that when you said population, you were referring to the membership. Yeah, the, the those guys, are, sorry, not yes. just those who. Any one, yeah. one last comment for me, if you would. Uh, I hope that the idea of having this via email or an online URL is not a question of the tail wagging the dog in the sense that. It's easier to, easier to compile web results. It goes right into a database, whereas if we mail it, it has to be compiled and checked manually. However, I believe that in this case, that we really should consider mailing this to every association member to get the owners. That's just my thing. That has to be a point too. Yeah, if I may. Yeah. Regardless of whether it's paper or online, gets entered into the same uh, same software. So the analysis comes out the same way. The only difference is, as you mentioned, some person is going to take the paper enter. and then enter it, which, by the way, would require an amendment to our comment. <laughs> That's what I got to put right. <laughs> Don't Don't those details. <laughs> Penny, um, any other comments? There's no motion. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your patience. I met with them at eight o'clock. They met. Yeah. What a truth. What a truth. I'm not as good as the guy that stands out a lot. Okay, Bob says he has some additional items. I'm sorry. You said you had additional items? No, sir. No? 
You know she's going around there by the coffee. No, we have no, appointments to renote. I, oh, the I appointment. said we, yeah. we have appointments that need to be accomplished in a budget meeting this afternoon, so we keep posing as I said. Okay. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> okay, we have uh, appointments. We have Lisa Schwartz for the second term on the ARC. John Trump Power, the second term Thank budget and finance. I don't have another sheet. Do I have to have a sheet? Rear roads. Okay. Uh, first term recreation. Who they all be accepted? Second. Second. All, right. all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any absent? Okay. Then, I still don't have the second page. Oh, do I say for the that are media, media questions? Oh, media questions. Oh, there I got it. Thank you. I have two sheets on here. Oh, that's true. Media, any other media questions, Joe? Tom? Josh? Okay. Then I'll call for the adjournment of this morning session. We'll have another session this afternoon at 2 p.m. Uh, a lovely share on the NASA. We can do everything for her. We're having a 2 p.m. Oh, yeah. Everything. What was the phone? phone? The, the meeting's at 2 p.m. It was supposed to be at 1 p.m. Now it's 2 p.m. Whatever. It's all your fault, Dave. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Exactly. 2 o'clock, right? I'm 2 o'clock, right? Yeah. 2 o'clock.